Nicole, a garden educator with Land to Learn, and I have a question for you. What's a seed? What does it do? What is it for? And I wonder, what's inside of it? Have you ever wondered what's inside a seed? Well, in this video, we're going to discover just that. So follow along to find out what's inside a seed. There are so many different kinds of seeds, so many different varieties. There are different shapes, different colors, different sizes, from the biggest seed, a coconut, to tiny seeds. Maybe you've seen seeds inside of fruits or vegetables. Maybe you've seen them blowing around outside, made a wish on a dandelion flower or seen them falling from trees like maple. Maybe you've eaten seeds like corn or nuts. Maybe you've planted seeds and watched them grow. Did you know that seeds are alive? They're only sleeping when they're lying there doing nothing. But then they wake up when they germinate and start to sprout. What does a seed need to wake up and sprout? What do you think? What does a seed need to start to grow? Sunlight, water, air to breathe, and usually seeds need soil to grow in. Let's say these words in Spanish. Seed, la semilla, sun, el sol, water, el agua, air, el aire, soil, la tierra. I think seeds are magical. Seeds can be really old, sleep for a really long time before they wake up. I heard a story that archaeologists found a clay pot in the desert and inside were seeds. And they knew that those seeds were 2,000 years old. If you were an archaeologist and found seeds that old, what would you wonder about them? Well, the archaeologists wondered what they were and if they were still alive. So in an experiment to see what would happen, they planted them and they grew. Those seeds were sleeping in the desert for 2,000 years and then woke up and grew into a squash plant. What a cool discovery. I wonder what's inside of a seed that makes it grow. Let's find out. Here I have a bean seed. It's just from a bag of beans bought at the grocery store. Now I could cook it and eat it, but I took a bunch of them and soaked them in water overnight. They grew bigger and got softer. So now I can dissect it or open it up to see what's inside. The first thing I have to do is take off its seed coat, which is the outer layer, it's kind of like skin, and I can scratch it with my nail and then peel it off. This is the layer that protects the seed. So I'm going to take that off and now I have a naked seed. Once the seed coat is off, it comes apart. There are these two pieces and I notice that one of them has attached to it a baby plant. There's this little tiny sprout or baby plant inside and it has a baby root and a little baby leaf. And the big pieces are food so that this little baby plant can start its life. So that's what's inside every seed, a little baby plant just waiting to wake up and grow. Now let's draw what we saw. 
So this is a diagram, which is a picture with labeled parts, it's often used in science, especially to show the parts of something that you've dissected, which we did with the seed. We opened it up to see what's inside. And we found a seed coat, which I drew by just adding a layer around the seed and labeled it seed coat. I also drew an arrow and labeled the food for the baby plant, which is the big part in the middle. And then I labeled the baby leaf and the baby root of the little plant that I found inside the seed. If you want to try this at home, you can get a bean seed, soak it in water. Actually, I would suggest using a bunch of seeds because some of them get messed up when you open them. So take a bunch of bean seeds, soak them in water overnight, they'll get soft, and you'll be able to peel off the coat and open up to see the little baby sprout inside. And then you can draw a seed diagram with all the different parts you see. I hope you enjoyed investigating seeds with me, and I hope you stay curious, wonder, investigate, observe, Maybe go outside, find something, open it up to see what's in it. Be a scientist, ask wonder questions, and keep learning. Hope to see you next time.